Hi, this is Reverend Patrick Dennis. It is my joy to share with you exciting news. The session has decided to do a renovation project to enhance accessibility to our campus for those who have mobility issues, as well as to create more conducive environments for meeting and fellowship. The following video will tell you about these revisions. The area impacted by these renovations can be seen here in the video. That includes the parking area outside of the office, the walkway from that parking area to the office, the office itself as well as the parlor and the hallway outside of the parlor. The interior scope of this project can be seen in this picture. As you can see, the area of exterior new work outlined in the yellow is the pathway leading up to the office. The green is the office area affected. You also will see the blue dotted barrier areas. Those are temporary dust confi confinement system areas, as well as the areas in the hallway. In this artistic rendering, you can see the cutaway at the top of the parlor, as well as the revised walkway from the parking lot to the office doors, which will be ramped for handicap accessibility, as well as two new paved van accessible handicap parking places. This is a current view of the office entry area taken from the perspective of the parlor. This is that same perspective taken now as an artistic rendering. It is showing you a two by two ceiling tile upgrades, which will be carried throughout the renovated space. It also replaces the inner wood door with a glass door and puts glass above the counter. Additional changes to the office will include adding sound dampening doors to the pastor's offices as well as sound dampening in the ceilings as well as incorporating new furniture throughout and painting. During the renovation, the staff offices will be relocated to Duntreath Hall. You will be able to access the office through the center doors on the parking lot side of the campus. Please be aware that the staff will continue to work a combination of on-site and remotely. This is a view of the parlor entrance as it is today. And this is a view of an artistic rendering of what it will look like. In this, you can see that the entrance has now been created with a wall with double doors and windows in order to enclose a space to have meetings that is closed off from the passageway between the office and the rest of the campus. Within this space, there'll be updated furnishing and decor. One of the most exciting changes is the planned restroom updates. In these changes, you will see that we are going from two restrooms to three. There will be two family bathrooms and there will be one handicap compliant bathroom. These restrooms will incorporate some of the existing custodial closet and part of the workroom. These will allow for automatic opening devices on the doors for ease of access. We are excited for these revisions to come underway and we thank you so much for the ways in which you support the ministry of Takahoe Presbyterian Church. I want to especially thank all those who will be involved in the project whose names we will be sharing with you along the way. And perhaps most of all, we give thanks to God for the generous bequest of the, from the estate of Patty Withrow, who is a longtime faithful member of Takahoe Presbyterian Church. Her bequest has made this project possible. And in that spirit, we always invite you, if you feel so led, to make a gift to the church for the use of capital renovations, as we always look to the future in ways of enhancing the use of our facilities for the purpose of furthering our ministry.